Hi, in this video we're going to be working on hip bumps, which is the next part of our choreography. So you want to start in your belly dance posture, remember feet hip distance, knees bent, pelvis in neutral, not too tucked, not too untucked, nice long spine, front and back ribs lifted, shoulders relaxed, back and down. Now from this position, you'll see why the knee bend becomes so important. We are going to pull one hip up, and as you do that, that knee's going to straighten a little bit. So if we're already straight, the hip would have nowhere to go. And then we're going to switch. The other hip pulls up, and the knee straightens. So as the knee moves back, the hip moves up. If you want to put a little oomph into it, you can add a little fast squeeze of your glute as you do that. Now that's optional and can be added down the road as you get more advanced. If it'll be a little less poppy without that, which is okay. We can do nice slow hip lifts as well. Now this is a foundational movement for the shimmy. We're not doing a shimmy in this choreography, but if you wanted to play around with it and you wanted to start speeding up this movement, this lifting and lowering of the hips and the movement of the knees, you'll eventually end up in a shimmy. So you can totally play around with that as well. Let's get back to our hip bumps though. So when you're doing the hip bumps in just the standing posture, there isn't too much of a weight shift. You're pretty equally balanced on both legs here. However, in the choreography, we're gonna add a little traveling to it, which means moving through space. So in order to do that, we are gonna have to pick up our feet. So we're gonna start playing around with shifting your weight to the hip that you're lifting and then shifting it back to the other hip. Shifting and shifting. And once you get comfortable with that weight shift, you're going to shift into the lifted hip, lift your foot up, set it down, shift into the other hip, lift your foot up. Shift, lift, shift, lift. And you can just play around with doing that in space or in place, or you can walk forward with it. or backwards. So you're stepping, lifting the hip, lifting the other foot up, stepping, lifting the hip of the foot you stepped on, stepping, lifting the hip of the foot you stepped on. Now this is a good one to practice anytime you're walking around your house. Do it like this. You will get it into your muscle memory faster. The more you do it, the more you practice. And the pace for this is actually a little bit faster in the song. It's more along this level. So let's try that in place and moving forward with it. And back. And there you have your hip bumps with a little traveling. 